It's very easy, I think, with family businesses to focus on some of the problems they have because that's what tends to be well, well publicised. But family businesses have many, many attributes that make themselves successful. Um, culture, you know, you get a unique culture. So um, in a family business, a lot of family business um, owners and managers almost see themselves as custodians and their sole purpose is to take this family business, manage it through their period of effectively stewardship and hand it over in a really safe, happy place to the next generation. And that mentality creates an entirely different culture that then percolates down through the organisation, you know, at every level. And I think, you know, that is so different from, for example, a perhaps a FTSE listed company that's interested in return on investment and, you know, profit figures, uh, you know, almost to the exclusion of everything else. Um, also, I think family businesses have this amazing ability to take a long-term view on things. So a, a, a private equity-backed business, for example, might be looking at, well, we've got a five-year window to ramp this business up, increase profits, and then look to sell it. And they might do transactions, for example, a sale and lease back where they might buy a business, sell the property to someone else and lease it back so they can still occupy that business, but they've released the equity in relation to that property to put back into the business or potentially take out to the shareholders. Whereas in a family business, they can say, we need a new property, let's take a 30 year mortgage and let's buy that business and we'll pay it down over time out of the cash flow of the business. And they can take that long term view. I think sometimes that then um, leads into this perception that family businesses are perhaps very much stuck in their ways and quite traditional and I don't think that's necessarily true because I think family businesses can actually be incredibly agile so again if you think of a listed PLC if you come up with a new initiative quite often you're probably going to have to go through a certain number of levels of management sign off and approval it might be that there's very rigid budget setting and people are, well, we can't look at it till the next budget round, etc. As a family business, the family can sit around the table and say, there's an opportunity here. Are we going to invest in it and go for it? Yes, we are. And the next day they can be on with it and working towards it. So I think actually family businesses can be incredibly agile, dynamic, can move very, very quickly with the times. Um, you know, you get values and culture as well with family businesses respect, enthusiasm, dedication, excellence, trust, community, innovation, craftsmanship as well. And community is really important because you often find that family businesses are very, very deep rooted within their local communities. They will support from a CSR perspective, lots of local, very small charities that again, have those links to their local communities. Um, the other thing as well with family businesses, when you talk about that value and culture, you will quite often find that they have very low staff turnover very, very long-standing employees. And quite often they can have multi-generational of employees from the same family. And I know of a business based in, in Manchester um, who are in a sort of semi-rural location. And they've actually got, um, they've actually got a, a graveyard on site with a waiting list of staff who have requested that they would like to be buried in this graveyard on, next to the factory because they've worked there for 40, 50 years and their son and daughter work in the business and everything else. And I mean, that, that's amazing loyalty to a business, but that's all comes down from the culture and values of that business that sees those employees almost as family members of their own because dad worked with this employee's dad and son is now working with this employee's son. Um, the other thing is as well, heritage and provenance. So you simply can't buy heritage and provenance. So for long-standing, multi-generational family businesses that have been around for you know hundreds of years, etc., you know that heritage and you know the provenance that they've got for what they actually do, you just simply can't buy or replicate as a, as a new startup. Um, so there's lots and lots of things in there that I think make family businesses ultimately really, really successful.